Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D cartoony text animation in After Effects that too without any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, start them in After Effects and first we will begin by creating a new composition. Now we are going to call this one main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps. Duration you can pick whatever you want. Now the most important setting that you have to change is go under the 3D rendering engine and make sure that it is set to Cinema 4D or Advanced 3D if you have the latest version. If you have the classic 3D, just switch it to Cinema 4D and you are ready to go. After that, just click on OK. So here we have our composition. First, let's create a solid. So right click solid and I'm going to make this one like really dark blue. Again, it's completely up to you can pick whatever color you want. So here we have our background. Now let's select the text tool and just type your text, whatever you want. I'm going to type motion and for the font, it's completely up to you can pick whatever you want. But if you use a bold font, then it would look nice. So I'm using this font here at black font. Now, once you are happy with this, we can quickly make it anchor point in the center. So you can hold on the control key, double click on this pan anchor tool. Now let's align it in the center of this comp as well. Now we are going to make it into 3D by clicking over here. After that, we can select this. Let's press S to scale this up somewhere around here. Now we can go inside this and we have geometry option. Just increase the extrusion amount, something like this. So now we have extruded it, but since the extrusion color is also white, we are not able to see it. Now in order to change the depth color, we can just simply go under the animate and over here we have the side color. Let's go under the color and select the RGB and from here we can just pick whatever color we want. I'm going to set this to black. Perfect. Now we can, we are basically done with our 3D look. Now our next step is to animate this. So for the animation part, we can use another property. So let's go under the animate and let's add a couple of these. So first I'm going to add the scale property and after that we can add a property for rotation and also let's add a property for position. And the most important thing before you start animating is make sure that this enable per character 3D is checked. Now we can animate all of these characters individually. Now we're going to play with all of these settings one by one. So first let's play with the scale. So I'm going to set this scale to zero and let's go under the range selector. We are going to play with the offset property. So I'm going to set this value to negative 100. Let's add a keyframe. Now move like a couple of frames ahead and then just simply set this value to 100. Now let's go under the advance. And from here, we are going to change the shape to ramp up. So now if I press play, you can see now individual character will start scaling up, which is exactly what we want. Now, in order to make this like a little bit more impressive, we can increase the ease low value to 100. So they will start quickly, but at the end, they will have this very nice easing. But if I set this to like negative 100, then you can see they will start slow, but at the end, they will have this very sharp easing. For this one, we're going to set this to 100. Now we are done with the scaling part. Let's add a little bit more animation. So first we are going to animate its position. So we want this text to like come from bottom. So I'm going to just move it like down below using this Y value. So now if I press play, you can see now the text is coming from the bottom. We also want it to rotate as well. So for that, we can use the Y parameter. And for that, we can just simply set this value to let's say one. Now if I press play, you can see now the text is rotating and it is coming up as well. There you go. If you want, you can move these keyframes like far away to have like a little bit of more smooth animation. Let's select them. Let's press F9 as well. So now if I press play, you can see we have this very nice text animation. Perfect. Now, once you're done with this, now in the same way, you can like keep on experimenting with all of these properties. So for example, if you want to have like X rotation, then you can like just rotate it a little bit. Now you can see we have added a little bit of different animation. And in the same way, you can have like a little bit of Z rotation as well. Like that. So in this way, you can have like a little bit more variation just by changing a couple of these properties. But for this one, I'm going to only play with the Y value. So I'm going to leave everything to zero. So once you're happy with this, we are ready to add some really nice thick stroke to this. So for that, let's select this layer, right click, pre-compose. Let's call this one text and make sure that move all attribute is set. Just click on OK. Now in order to add the outline, we can select this right click layer style and let's enable stroke. So let's go under the stroke option. Right now it's color is red. We can change this to black and just play around with the outline. 
you can just increase it however you want so if i press play i think this is too much we can set this to let's say 10 for now yeah this looks good now if i press play you can see we have this very nice animation in our text and the best thing is that this is completely procedural that means if you want to change the text then you can just go over here and just type whatever you want and if i come back and now if i press play you can see all the animations are already applied and we have already changed our text so this is how you can create these kind of 3d cartoonish text effect and the best thing is that you can just play around with whatever values you want so for example we can change the position so let's go inside the animator and this time we can change the position to come from top so i'm going to just simply change the position now if i press play now you can see the text is coming from the top so in this way you can have multiple variations just by changing a couple of these properties so the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Oh, 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 oh,